It was a very quiet yet in the Loud House. It was in the middle of the night and everyone in the Loud family was asleep. Lynn Sr. and Rita Loud were out to visit family for a few days, so Lori was in charge of the household. Luann was in her sleep was sleeping in her and Luna's room with Mr. Coconuts beside her. When all of a sudden, Luann woke up with abdominal pain in her abdomen. Ugh, my stomach hurts. Luann moaned loudly in pain, causing Luna to wake up. Dude, I'm trying to sleep here. What was all that? Luan Luna stopped when she got down from her bed and saw Luann. She looked like she was in pain. Luann, what's wrong? Are you okay? No, no, no Lu Luna, m m m my stomach hurts. Luann whimpered while holding her stomach. Oh, crap. Do you want me to get Lori? Yes, Luann replied. Then Luna ran towards Lenny and Lori's bedroom, pounding on the door so loudly in Lenny and... Loudly. In Lenny and Lori's bedroom, Lori and Lenny were woken up to loud banging. At first, Lori was annoyed, so she went up to her bedroom door and opened it. Luna, what the hell is, was that all about? Lori asked. When, then she, when she saw the expression on Luna's face, she looked like she was in panic mode. Luna, what's wrong? It's so weird. She's having stomach pains. Luna replied. Then Lenny groaned as her eyes adjusted to the light Lori flipped on. Lori, why is the bedroom so bright? Lenny asked. Then her eyes adjusted to see Luna. She was panicking. Is someone hurt? She asked Luna. Yes, Luann woke up with stomach pains. Luna replied. Then she, with Lori and Lenny, rushed to Luann and Luna's room. The commotion woke up the rest of the loud siblings. At first, they were annoyed by the noise waking them. But after hearing that Luann was having stomach pains, they all ran for Luna and Luann's room. What's going on? Lola asked. I was getting my beauty sleep, but this is serious? Is this serious? Yes, Lola, it is. Lincoln answered. Then Lori went towards Luann. Luann, where does your stomach hurt? Lori asked. I think it's my lower abdomen. It's not indigestion or period cramps. Luann answered. Tears started to form and run down her eyes. It feels like someone is stabbing me with a knife. Oh, jeez. This literally sounds it might be Luann's appendix. Lori said, turning her attention to her siblings. Appendix? The rest of her sibling, loud siblings said in shock. I can perform surgery. I have been studying about it for a while now, Lisa said with a suggestion. But her siblings declined the offer. No way, Lisa. We're not taking that risk, Lynn stated. Mom and Dad are not here. We'll have to do this ourselves, Lori said. Then turned to her siblings. Lincoln, go and call 911 and get the paramedics. Right. Lincoln said as he ran downstairs to use the house phone. I'm so scared. Luann cried in pain, thus having Lori to hug her. It's okay, Luann. We're going to get help right now. Lori smoothed Luann. I had my appendix taken out last year. Bobby was worried about me when it happened, though. Though, I remember, but I'm scared that it's happening to me. Luann sobbed. The pain was becoming too much for her to handle. Lynn, Lisa, Luna... Pack Luann's duffel bag with her things, Lori instructed, as Luann held Mr. Coconuts closer to her. Within that time, Lori dialed her parents' cell number to get a hold of them. Lori was scared for Luann. Seeing any of her siblings in pain was the worst nightmare. Hello? Lori? A voice picked up on the other end. It was Rita loud. Mom, Luann's having stomach pains and they won't stop, Lori said. Oh god, is she okay? Rita asked. Lori put down her phone to Luann's ear. Luanna Banana, what's going on? My stomach hurts so much, Mom. It feels like someone is stabbing me with a knife. Luann cried on while on the phone, known in pain. Lori says it's my appendix, but I don't know. Okay, Luanna, just stay calm. I went through this when it happened to Lori. Is there any bleeding? Rita asked. Not that we could see. There's no blood. Luann answered while tearing up even more from the pain. Lincoln's calling 911, so I should be in the hospital. All right. Was anyone aware of what's going on? Lynn Sr. asked, overhearing Rita on the phone with Luann. Yes. Luna got Lori and told her what was happening. Luann replied, still trembling in fear. I'm very scared. Why is this happening to me? 
It's okay, Luann. When you're at the hospital, the doctors will find out what's wrong, Lynn reassured Luann. Then Lori continued to explain what was happening on the phone. As the ambulance arrived, Lincoln opened the front door to reveal a few paramedics with a stretcher. She's upstairs. Follow me, Lincoln instructed as the paramedics followed Lincoln upstairs. The paramedics are here, Lincoln said. As the paramedics entered the bedroom, Luann was placed on the stretcher as she was rushed to the ambulance with the paramedics. Lori followed them into the ambulance while on the phone with her parents. What are we going to do now? Linny asked after the ambulance rushed out to L Royal Woods Hospital. Without Lori to drive us there, who's going to do it? Linny freaked out, not before being smacked across the face by Lincoln. Linny, calm down! Lincoln shouted, not too loud to wake anyone up. It's very late right now, and we'll find out from Lori how Luann is doing in the morning. Lincoln's right. I am sure Luann will be okay, Lynn replied. Then they all went back in the loud house and headed to bed. Meanwhile in the hospital, Luann was taken immediately to the operating room, while Lori was outside with the nurse, asking her some questions. So you're her older sister? A nurse asked. Yes, I am. Our parents are visiting family for a few days. I did call them about what happened, and, they, and I hung up when I got here, Lori answered. Well, the paramedics said that Luann's having signs or symptoms of appendix, or in this case, her appendix is inflamed. The nurse explained to Lori that the doctors will have to remove the appendix from Luann, or it could end up being fatal for her. Lori sat in the waiting room for God knows how long. She had been up since 1 a.m. by L Luna, who had got her up. Since she rode with Luann to, to the hospital, she called Bobby and asked him to pick her up. While waiting in the waiting room, Bobby entered the waiting room to find Lori dozing off. Hey babe, I'm so sorry that your sister's in surgery, Bobby said as he sat down beside Lori. It's all good, boo-boo bear. I'm just worried about Luann. I sure hope she'll be okay, Lori replied. I'm sure she'll be fine. Are your parents heading back home? Bobby asked. They said that they'll be on their way home tomorrow as it's getting late, Lori replied. I'm so sorry for waking you up, Boo Boo Bear. I feel so bad for waking you up. No, it's fine, Lori. When I picked you up, you sounded like you were having a heart attack on the phone. Bobby reassured his girlfriend. It reminded me of last year when you had to get your appendix taken out. I do remember that, Bobby. It was not fun at all. No, Lori reset to Bobby. After an hour later, a nurse came out of the operating room with a doctor. So Bobby and Lori both stood up. Well, Lori, we have good news about the surgery, the nurse replied. What is it? Is Luann going to be okay? Lori asked. She is going to be fine, Lori. We have taken her appendix out. It was inflamed very badly to the point that if she wasn't here, then her appendix would have burst and caused more damage, the doctor answered. Luann is in the recovery room right now. She is still asleep due to the anesthetic hasn't worn out yet. That's good, Dr. J. Green, Lori replied, seeing the doctor's name tag on his coat. It was no problem, Lori. I'm sure you're really tired right now. You can visit Luann with your siblings tomorrow, as Luann Ann should be awake by then, Jay said. Other than that, Luann will rest here for about a week. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, should I get her bag with her things, right? Lori asked. Well, yes, we did, and our nurses are handling them. Jay replied as he walked away, thus having Lori and Bobby to head down the hallway. While heading down the hall, uh, Lori couldn't stop thinking about Luann. She was worried about her since she had been woken up by Luna. Bobby pulled Lori closer to him as they walked down the hall, reassuring Lori that Luann will be okay. I'll drop you off at your house, and as soon as you get in, I'll head back, Bobby said as he and Lori got to the parking lot and into Bobby's van. Lori was softly crying during the car ride home. She was, ter she was tired and worried about Luann. You okay, babe? Bobby asked, seeing his girlfriend cry. No, I'm just scared of something bad may happen to Luann. Lori sobbed. What if she doesn't come home? Aw, babe, Luann will be fine. She's in good hands with the doctor. Just like they were with you. I know, I was scared too. Bobby comforted Lori as they drove down the road to the Loud House. Around 2.30 a.m., Bobby dropped Lori off at her house as Lori thanked Bobby for the ride, then headed inside the house. 
When Lori walked inside the house, she walked upstairs to her room where she got ready for bed. Once she was asleep on her bed, she did try not to think about Luann, seeing that the more she thinks about the Luann, the more awake she will be. The next morning, Rita, Loud, and Lynn Sr. returned home to see everyone but Lori and Luann. Hey kids, we heard about what happened with Luann last night, Rita said. Is she okay now? Well, Dr. Gray, J. Gray Green called a few minutes ago. He said that Luann has woken up is feeling okay. With some soreness from the surgery, and she'll be eating soft foods for a while, Lisa informed. Lori was up most of the night, so she's still asleep, Luna added. It's been a tough night for all of us. I bet it was. I'm so sorry we weren't home for this to happen, Lynn Sr. sighed. I feel like a failure of a father. Oh, Dad, you're not a failure. It just happened unexpectedly, Lenny replied. You and Mom did all you could, even though you weren't here, Lincoln added. I called 911 and I was panicking on the phone. I was scared for Luann back then. Well, the most important thing is you all kids did what you could. Luann is, in, is the main priority, Rita replied. Let's wait until Lori wakes up. Then we'll head over to the Royal Woods Hospital to see Luann, Luna suggested, whichever one agreed. When Lori woke up and got dressed, she was a bit sleepy due to her being up most of the night. But when she headed downstairs to see Rita and Lynn Sr. were home, so Lori had to tell her parents of her side what happened in the hospital. After Lori finished explaining about the stuff in the hospital, Rita Sr. got ready so they could visit Luann. Within a couple of minute, moments later, the Louds were in the hospital. They found Luann's room not far from the recovering room. We're not going to be visiting long today, guys. It's been a couple of hours since last night and Luann is exhausted. So we must not be too loud and be gentle with her, Lori said as she, her siblings, along with Rita and Lynn Sr., walked inside Luann's room. As the Louds entered Luann's room, Luann was a bit sleepy in her bed. Lynn Sr. and Rita watched as Luann was in a hospital gown with an IV in her arm and even a grog her in a groggy state. Luann woke up at the sound of her siblings and her parents. She smiled as she saw them. Mom? Dad? Luann groggily asked as she woke up. It's us, sweetie. We're so sorry that we weren't there with you, Rita replied. It happened unexpectedly. Yeah, it's no one's fault. I wasn't expecting to be in the hospital last night, Luann said. I'm glad you're here. And so am I, Mr. Coconuts piped in. How are you feeling? Lisa asked Luann. Doing better. Still sore from where the doctors did the surgery. And a bit groggy, Luann answered. But other than that, I'll be okay. Man, I wish I was there. When your appendix was taken out, that's where the interesting, gross stuff comes in. Lana said, Really, Lana? You really had to bring that up? Lola groaned in disgust. I'm still eating my breakfast sandwich. We're all glad you're doing okay, Luann. We were worried about you, Lynn Jr. said. I was preparing for your funeral, but now that I see that you're still alive, I guess I can hold that off, Lucy added. I'm glad you were all here with me. It, I felt as if someone was stabbing me with the knife last night, Luann replied. That's the pain where pain I felt when it happened to me last year. It was so stressful. Lori said. Was it scary in the operating room? Lincoln asked. The doctors put in anesthesia so I would be put to sleep. So they could do the surgery without me feeling anything. Luann answered Lincoln's question. Then L Lily was placed on Luann's lap on her bed by Rita. Lily missed you a lot, dude. She was crying nonstop when you left. Luna said. Before Lori got home from the hospital, she slept on your bed in your room. Aw, oh, Lily, I'm going to be okay. I missed you too. I was scared when I got here. Luann reassured Lily as she hugged her baby sister. So, what did the doctors do? Lucy asked. They took my appendix out, and I feel a lot better from that. Maybe a bit sore, but the good news is, is that I can exercise within two to three weeks. Or four weeks, even. Luann replied. So how long are you going to be here for? I thought it was for a week. Lenny said. The doctor said from one to two days, as long as everything goes well, Luann answered. I do miss you. I did have a good cry earlier since I miss you all. We are all will be able to pick you up when the doctors say you're good to go home, Rita said. What was it like in the operating room? Lynn Jr. asked. Filled with equipment, nurses and doctors around to do the surgery. I was equipped with this IV, 
Luann answered. I did call your school earlier, and they did say to you to get better. And once you're home, we'll be keeping you home from school for at least a week or so. Just to make sure that you're feeling okay, Linston Sr. said. I did text Benny about what happened. He'll be here after school to visit you, Lori added. I texted Benny before you all arrived, and he feels very sorry for me, Luann replied. I bet he'll bring me flowers or something. Yeah, and maybe you two will start to... Mr. Coconuts were then cut off by Luann. Mr. Coconuts, don't go there, Luann exclaimed. What did I say? Mr. Coconuts mimed a question. You'll be okay here, right? Lola asked. Of course I will be. As soon as I'm home, you'll all see me. Luann replied. All right, game. It's time to head out now. Luann needs a rest and she's still exhausted from surgery, Rita said as she and Lynn Sr. escorted their family out of Luann's room. As Luann was resting in the hospital bed, she enjoyed her company by her friends who came to visit her. And even Benny was present. Luann spent two days resting and enjoying the company, eating ice cream and jello. It wasn't until Dr. J. Green said that Luann was free to go home. So Rita Loud had picked up Luann from the hospital after dropping everyone off at school. When Luann and Mr. Coconuts walked down the hallway with Rita and Lynn Sr., she felt happy that she was coming home. She was going to feel great to be back at home. After the stressful event that happened, when Luann got home with her parents, she surprised everyone when she that she was home from school and even made Lily grow so attached to Luann for a while, not wanting Luann to leave home for a while. But within that time, Luann got back to her own self shortly when she returned home. The Louds had been through this last year with Lori and when she had her appendix taken out. But Bobby was there for Lori. And with Luann home from the hospital, the Louds were so happy that they saved Luann from her appendix rupturing inside. <laughs>